It is pride not to acknowledge God as the reason behind the results you are celebrating. For a man can receive nothing except it be given him from above. It is pride not to acknowledge God as the doer of the marvels in our lives because without me, he said, ye can do nothing. And except the Lord builds a house, the neighbor in vain that builds it. So it is sheer pride to assume the major player in the results we experience. But we must acknowledge God because except he builds the house, they that build it labor in vain. Without the hand of God, the hand of man amounts to zero. It is by grace that we are where we are, and it is by grace that we are what we are. So it must become a lifestyle in our private lives to constantly acknowledge the grace of God behind everything that people applaud in our lives. We must constantly acknowledge God. as the source of everything that people celebrate around our lives otherwise it will be taken for pride and pride goes before destruction and a haughty heart before a fall god must be honored in return for for every honor that people ascribe to us this is so important and we should do it on time he said give him glory not sometime when you are when you feel convenient he said do it before he causes darkness before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains and while you look for light he was turns to cross darkness so it's important to give him timely thanks if you do someone a favor today and you have been meeting and meeting and after about four weeks Oh, thank you for that thing you just said. Thank you. Carry your thanksgiving. Go. It is belated thanksgiving. It must be done right there. Jesus, you did this much. Thank you. And thank you and thank you again. And thank you forever. Then you have committed them to do the next. So it is not just thanksgiving that counts, but timely thanksgiving. What do I call it? Timely thanksgiving timely thanksgiving if you have ever done anybody any favor in your life and in response on time to say thank you you are self-motivated to do him the next favor you are self-motivated to do him the next favor but you've done somebody a favor and then one month two months three months one year two years four years five years oh yes i just remember oh ah oh my shagun you also answer from me inside. Thank you for your belated thanksgiving. I will never make the mistake again. And to let us know how God counts on our thanksgiving. He said, well, there are not ten lepers claims. We are denying. Ah, I've been waiting. That's what Christ is saying. I've been waiting here. Only you came because I have ten on my list. We are denying. I said, I don't know. Okay, you go. You, you are middle. Old. Let them carry on with their partial healing. You know, they were cleansed, but their fingers were still like this. There were contours on their faces. They needed a second touch, which will only come at the instance of thanksgiving. But they never returned to give thanks. But the one who returned was made whole. The fingers back. The face smoothened out. I'm back to full human dignity again through the mystery of thanksgiving. Learn to celebrate God in truth and in deed. Let no blessing look small to you. Let no miracle look small to you. Celebrate Him from the depth of your heart. Thanksgiving commits God to perfecting His blessings in our life.
Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We appreciate you being part of our community and look forward to sharing more content with you soon. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you.